Hello my friends and welcome back to another video where some breaking news has come out in the last few hours where John Howe, the Tolkien illustrator, has talked about the Amazon Orderings TV series and in great detail about Numenor as well. It's interesting about what he has had to say about it. He did an interview I believe with Project Northmore and this is what he had to say. We'll be going through all of his quotes individually. So first John Howe was asked by the interviewer what places in Middle Earth is he most excited to see in the upcoming Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series? He replied with, quote, I am very curious and excited to see what all of that will look like. I think for me that the sea is the one thing, and the ships, coastal cities, and of course, the island kingdom of Numenor. And from that response, we can clearly see that John Howe in the Amazon Lord of the TV show is most looking forward to seeing Numenor and the more the water and sea based things in the show, which is exciting because he's, of course, an illustrator for the show as well, which means he's, from what he has seen so far, seeing Numenor and maybe the Numenor ships crossing the seas is the most exciting thing and thing he's most looking forward to as well. And you could have chosen lots of different places, like you'll probably be seeing Linden in the show. Or probably seeing a region right see Casa Doom. There's so many places that we can see in the show, but really having this emphasis on Numenor with that answer is quite promising as well. In this next quote here, he specifically mentions oceans when he says, quote, I am the most eager to see. Neither Lord of the Rings nor the Hobbit take us there, and the oceans are such an integral part of Middle Earth. It will be wonderful to finally have the opportunity to see them. And we know that. Amazon have actually been filming a lot of water-based and sea-based potentially scenes as we know that in the Camus film studios that we'll look at later on it was a, there was the reported incident where a I believe a stunt member or stunt woman actually got injured by a boat while going into a water tank which might mean that we might be seeing lots of actual sea-based scenes in the show which is of course quite exciting. Then he went on to say, the last time I was in New Zealand, I visited some remarkable places that really could be the shores of Beleriand or Numenor. And before I continue, I'm sure some of you will already be looking at that shores of Beleriand and be like, that's the first stage, is he referencing to the first stage? I probably believe that by shores of Beleriand, he actually means Linden and potentially Mithlond and the coastline of Linden, rather than in the first stage and seeing the coast of Beleriand there, which is probably, he, I really doubt he's talking about the first stage of Beleriand and probably the last bit of Beleriand in the second age, which we can see through um, Linden. But of course, that may be wrong, but I would highly doubt that. But as we continue with the quote, it's re from what I have actually exclusively reported a few months ago, as you can see on the picture on the bottom left of your screen, that is actually Murray Collie, where they're actually filming potentially scenes for the coastlines and that could be the coastlines for Linden or coastlines for Numenor as well. So we know they're actually filming there. And if you can so and if you know from the maps of Numenor, they have that the island's base of a star shaped figure. And as you can see from that picture, you can potentially see that star shape panning out. Maybe the scale is a bit too small, me just speculating. But we also know that they visited Peha Beach as well in New Zealand. And I believe I can't find the interview now, but a few months ago, I think for one of the um like memoriams for Tolkien or remembrances, um, John Howe did an interview where he said he visited a specific place in New Zealand where he thought it'd be great for Numenor. I'll try and get that out for future videos, I'll try and find that out. But that was really interesting as well. And that he has found places in New Zealand that look a lot like Numenor. And if you are in New Zealand and find any other places that you think actually look like um, could potentially look like Numenor as well, please let us know in the comments below. Then finally, he went on to say, quote, Also, the events in the series take place centuries before the Lord of the Rings. We have only a tiny glimpse of the history of Middle-earth, so that will be exciting as well. There is a lot left to explore, and there truly is. And the one that probably understatements is places centuries before the Lord of the Rings, more thousands and thousands of years before the Lord of the Rings, as it in fact will be in the Second Age. But it's interesting because he's talking about places that we'll probably be seeing hopefully a much wider middle earth because in a TV show more than a movie, you could do much more world building and hopefully we'll see more places. For example, you didn't properly get to visit all of um, Khand or Haradima possibly be seeing there. 
will probably go to Linden and see that fully as well, of course, Numenor, Prime Region, and we can see the communications between the dwarves of Khazad Doom, Lothlodian, and Linden as well. And then, of course, you can go forward, as I said before, down to Khand and Harad and see those places as well. There's so much left to explore, for example, the Woodland Realm as well. And hopefully, in the show, what John Howe is trying to say is that we'll probably see a much wider and we'll see Middle Earth in more detail. But moving back to a point I touched about earlier, where we actually knew that in New Zealand and in fact Kamu Film Studios, Amazon were filming probably sea and water based scenes, and that was actually an incident where a stunt woman, her name Melissa Caddell, as said in the article in front of you guys, was seriously injured by a boat. And this is quite interesting as well. So, firstly, this is the article from around big, the beginning of last year. And that was some, uh, quite a little touch as well. She was uh, a double for Nicole Kidman in Aquaman, a heavily water and sea based story, which probably shows you what type of sea, sea film scenes they are actually filming. And so said that she jumped into the tank and hit her head, which means that in New Zealand they probably have a massive, massive water tank where they are filming their seas, their sea and water based scenes. And those are the scenes that apparently John Howe is most looking forward to, which is of course exciting. So just to recap, it's interesting that John Howe has actually spoken quite a lot about the show and about Numenor, and that he's always excited to see these sea and water based scenes, and has actually said that in the show we'll be seeing these Numenorean ports, and we'll probably be seeing big sea scenes with ships with the Numenorean fleet, which of course would be exciting seeing that on the small screen. And probably we know about Amazon's budget and how much they're putting into it. It'll probably look amazing, spectacular. And of course, he's an illustrator for the show as well. And he has worked on it and actually visited places which does look like, potentially looks like Numenor. So if, if John Howe is thinking, looking forward most to seeing Numenor and sea based scenes, then we of course in for hopefully looking at some really great sea and, sea and ship based and Numenor based scenes and probably actions but that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it please like subscribe until the next video my friends goodbye